This is a video for Physics 11 in the Waves Unit and we've set up an apparatus with some pendulums of different weight and they're all held on one string that's held in tension with these two retort stands. So we're going to make a disturbance and get one pendulum swinging and if we wait long enough we can see how that energy is transferred along to the other pendulum with the same length. But you can see the, the shorter length pendulums just kind of stay where they are and, and don't swing back and forth. Now you might be wondering, does this only happen with the, the really long length pendulum? Uh, we're going to try the, the middle length ones and see if the same effect will happen. Can we get the other pendulum of the same length swinging? Now here in this example, uh, we're going to start one of the shorter pendulums swinging. And, and as we expect, the same length pendulum will also uh, show this resonance and start swinging. But there's another interesting thing going on. You see the longer pendulums kind of eventually start up the, the syncopated thing. It's kind of like when you're walking along and your legs you know, your right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, but your arms swing in the opposite to kind of balance things. So this, this was kind of a neat, uh, a neat thing to happen. And you can see the, the, the shortest length pendulum there uh, still isn't really moving. It's bopping up and down a little bit, but it doesn't get that rhythm going. So we can see that that length has something to do with the frequency of our pendulums. And we've seen a couple examples where we can set up this resonance where energy gets transferred along and gets things moving.